Hello students, now we will start Chapter 8 Industry and Trade of History Class 9th Maharashtra Board. So let's start. In this chapter we are going to gather some information about industry and trade in India in the post-independence period. After India became independent, the Industrial Finance Corporation of India was established in 1948 with the purpose of making available long-term loans to industrial projects. Similarly, the Industrial Development Corporation was established in 1954 in order to bring about greater development of the industrial sector. Some industries in India Textile industry The textile industry forms 14% of the total industrial production. It includes the power loom and the handloom industries. The handloom industries are labor intensive. According to the Textile Committee Act 1963, a textile committee has been established. This committee sets the quality standards for textiles manufactured for sale in the internal market as well as for export. Silk industry. The industry functions under the Ministry of Textiles. The research about the species of the silkworm and mulberry trees is done in the Seribiotic Research Laboratory at Bangalore. This industry is primarily in the states of Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal and Jammu and Kashmir. Now it is being spread in states with predominantly tribal populations. Jute industry. India is the top ranking country in jute production. India is a major exporter of jute products. We get cloth, sackcloth and ropes from jute. Do you know Mega Cluster is a scheme that helps weavers through self-finance groups and non-governmental organizations. Help is given in the form of raw material design banks, development of technology and welfare of the weavers. Hand Sculpting This is a labor intensive craft. Sculptors got employment due to the capacity of the craft to absorb more craftsmen. Small investment, more profits, preference to exports and possibility of earning more foreign exchange. Several cities have Market mechanisms like Dilli Hut, which enables the craftsmen from rural and urban areas to get a market for their wares. Automobile industry India is one of the major producers of vehicles. Vehicles are exported to 40 countries from India. The automobile industry is called the sunrise sector in India. For example, India's tractor industry is the biggest in the world. One third of the tractors manufactured worldwide are produced in India. Tractors manufactured in India are exported to Turkey, Malaysia and several countries in Africa. Cement industry. The role of cement industry is important in the development of housing and infrastructure. This industry is one of the most technologically advanced. India is currently an important producer of the cement in the world. Leather industry. It is a big industry in India. It is primarily export oriented. Salt industry. India is one of the top producers of salt in the world. The annual production of salt in India is 200 lakh tons. The production of iodized salt is 60 lakh tons. Bicycle industry. India is a leading producer of bicycles in the world. Bicycles are made in the states of Punjab and Tamil Nadu. The main center of bicycle manufacturing in India is Ludhiana. India exports bicycles to countries like Nigeria, Mexico, Kenya, Uganda, Brazil.
Khadi and Village Industry. The Khadi and Village Industries Commission was established to give impetus to industrialization in rural areas. The main objectives behind the establishment of the corporation were to develop the traditional industries, handicrafts, cottage industries, and to encourage industries that use the material and human resources available at the local level and make the villages self-reliant by creating employment there. Agriculture In India, agriculture is practiced using traditional and modern methods. Many agricultural tasks are performed using bullocks. Similarly, machines are being used in different tasks like plugging, sowing, to harvesting, threshing, etc. The major occupation in India is agriculture and other tasks based on agriculture. Agriculture and animal husbandry are practiced in villages. 70% of Indian society depends upon jobs related to agriculture and agricultural production. In this industry, the participation of women is equal to that of men. Agriculture is practiced in different sessions in India. Many varieties of crops are grown. Jwar, wheat, rice, pulses and oil seeds are mainly produced. Although along with it, cotton and sugar cane are pro processed to manufacture cloth and sugar respectively. Agriculture also includes the production of fruits and vegetables. Nowadays, industries processing these fruits and vegetables have come up. Agriculture fulfills man's basic needs. In order to encourage farming, loans are given to farmers through rural banks and cooperative institutions. Study visits, agricultural outdoor trips and farmers get together are organized through the panchayat samitis to bring about improvements in agriculture. Tools and implements, seeds and fertilizers are also supplied. The farmers are given training regarding soil testing, nursery of fruit, plants, pesticulture, poultry, cattle and goat rearing, dairy farming, etc. Guidance is given to farmers by a district level training institute. Financial help is given to build warehouses for storing the farm produ produce. India is rapidly becoming independent in food grain production and farming techniques. Modern techniques like drip irrigation, organic farming are used for farming. Policy of the central government In the four, fourth five-year plan, focus was placed on paper industry, pharmaceutical industry, motor tractor industry, leather goods, textile industry, food processing industry, oil, color, sugar industries, etc. According to the Industrial Licensing Policy 1970, all those factories requiring an investment of more than 5 crore rupees were to be included as heavy industries. The big industrial houses and foreign companies were allowed to invest in heavy industries that were not reserved for the public sector. As a result of this policy, by the end of 1972, 3,18,000 small industries were registered with the Government Registration Office. Mineral Wealth The availability of the minerals, iron and coal plays a major role in the industrial development of the country. We have adequate store, stores of iron, man, manganese, coal and mineral oil in our country. Forest Resources Government has reserved some forests for the industries based on forests. The task of conservation of the forests is done by the central government, the state government and by the local people. Forests are necessary for the raw material for industries like construction, paper, newsprint, silk, matchboxes, medicinal herbs, honey, 
lacquer and raw material needed for paint fisheries fisheries include sea water fish and fresh water fish found in rivers canals ponds and lakes harbors have built have been built or old harbors have been redeveloped fish seed incubation centers and fishing industry training centers have been provided for the growth of this industry tourism india has a rich culture heritage there are places of worship of different religions pilgrimage centers confluences of rivers forts caves etc all over our country tourists from our country as well as from abroad travel in india throughout the year the facilities for tourists to stay travel etc are provided through the tourism development corporation sale of curious and the hotel industry thrives in tourist places in some places there are guides who give information to tourists about that area sometimes when vehicles don't reach the destination in some remote and difficult to reach tourist places the local people help the tourists in return for a fee employment opportunities are generated out of these needs import export or foreign trade when planning started in 1951 the import and import of industrial goods and raw material required for production increased india's imports included machines iron minerals oil fertilizers machines etc india also gave impetus to exports after independence in order to gain value, valuable foreign exchange india's exports included tea coffee spice, spices cotton textiles leather footwear pearls precious stones etc internal trade india's internal trade takes place via railways waterways roads railways etc ports like mumbai kolkata kochi and chennai are important commodities like coal cotton cotton textiles rice wheat raw jute iron steel oil seeds salt sugar etc are included in internal trade due to the development of industries the standard of life in the country improves many opportunities for employment become available on the whole it helps in the progress of the country in the next chapter we shall see how the life of indians has been changing exercises we will do in a separate session